How do you know if you're a spiritual channel? Hey guys, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. So I want to jump on and do a little talk on a topic that came in this morning. Um, and it's about how, kind of how you know you, that you're a spiritual channel. Um, we're all spiritual channels because we're, chan we're spiritual beings having a human experience. This is your place of the playing out the play and the roles, whereas we return to the true self, which is our spirits, our soul, um, beyond here after we've dropped the body. So we are spiritual channels. We're spiritual beings, right, in realization of itself. And so we already are. It's just recognition and realizing that you are, right? And so to channel um, brings me to the topic uh, that wanted to be shared is, you know, we can channel through different ways. And so that can be empathic, could be psychic, could be mediumship. It can be automatic writing or just channeling another being or form or higher consciousness. Um energy healing, it could be art, intuitive arts, um, writing. And with that, it's just different ways that we're receiving the information, right? And though a lot of us term that we're a psychic, that we're a medium, that we're um, uh, a channel, or we do art, we're an artist, you know, these are all ways of channeling, right? And so it's different forms of information that are coming through and how you're processing it and how you're putting it out into the world because art has a form of itself that it's creating um, and that's putting it out there as a visualization that speaks to you in different ways through emotions, vibration, energy. And so when you're channeling, it comes through different ways. And so you're, you are channeling information, you're interpreting it in different ways. You're feeling it through emotions, through visions, through hearing, through psychic awareness, feelings, energy, healing. And so I had myself gone through a lot of these um, modalities, trying to hone my, you know, my abilities, because since I've been a child, you know, I've had all these experiences where I've seen, you know, people who've passed over, the energies, vibration, um, I, you know, I know when things are going to happen, precogging, you know, I, I knew when people were going to die that I met, and then, you know, I had... Um, a lot of spiritual experiences. I've had the Kundalini, you know, astro travel, uh, you name it. Like, um, it's just a lot. The death experience. Um, so all this have come to help me to understand a lot of this stuff because I grew up in a family that didn't recognize it, that didn't talk about it, that didn't share any information. Never really talked about anything, really, actually. Um, uh, whenever you had a question, they'd hand you a book, <laughs> you know, and when you talked about stuff, you know, it was like, you know, children shouldn't be, shouldn't be uh, heard kind of scenario. And so nothing really was ever talked about. And so you would never, I would never really share anything. When I did try to share, it was like, I kind of got this look like, what are you talking about? You know, because I would actually hear people breathing. I'd hear people walking. I'd hear different things. I'd feel people around, like people were looking at me behind me, like somebody was there, but then, then they weren't there. Um, and so I didn't really talk much about it because like when I tried to bring it up, you know, people were just kind of like, hmm, I don't know what you're talking about, things like that. And it, they would start looking at me weird. So I didn't really go into it. So I would just drop it. But I've had a lot of experiences ever since childhood. And so as far as being a spiritual channel, you know, um, going through the whole your death experiencing, waking up, going through all the self-healing modalities, working on myself, you know, coming into the realization that I'm that I am a chariot channel. You know, um, it was the process of that that led me to where I am and to accept that, right? And so, um, to go on the journey is not always easy, but once we go on the journey, you know, it becomes easy, right? And so, it's just allowing yourself to be there, accepting, fully open, and receiving. Now, with the information that we receive, we're always receiving information. And I want to say that because, like, when I was in college, right, and I wasn't really, I, I did some automatic writing when I was younger, but it, it scared me, and so fear came through, and so what I was writing was not positive, and so I would stop writing, right? And so, because it was coming from the fear base 
of it. And so I would stop, but it was something that just automatically started happening. And I was like, why am I writing? And I'm not writing. It wasn't me writing. And it was like, it, and it kind of like put me off for a while. So I kind of stayed away from it. Um, but as I evolved, had the experiences, you know, woke up, had the near death experience, went home and came back and realized, you know, all of this, um, that's part of how I channel. And I did, uh, you know, I did a little bit on that, um, uh, in the intro video, if you haven't seen that, check that out. Um, and then also you'll see me reading um, with some of the topics I'm talking about because that's the channel information that I'm receiving. I'm receiving that and I write it because I'm an automatic writer channeling through that modality. And somebody had said a comment about that. Well, why don't you just talk? Because I receive through writing, right? And so then I can explain it once I receive it because then I have the information to explain it. So you'll see me reading and explaining, reading and explaining. That's how I channel. Some people just channel through emotions. They're empathic or they're seeing things um, like vision. So they're some psychic. I have vision sometimes, um, not all the time. For me, when I sit down and write, I just channel writing. It just automatically happens. It just comes out, right? That's just, that's me, right? That's how I channel. So I don't just sit here and channel to people um, like some others might just sit here and channel to close your eyes and uh, you'll see them channeling information. You know, we all do it differently, right? And so it may not be for you to follow my channel, but this is how I work and this is how I share it. Plus, when I write, I'm being more specific to the information that's coming to you and not putting a projection on it through my view. Um, I can read it as I'm receiving it to give it to you as it's being given to me, right? And so it's more accurate because when we do channel information, we can put a spin on it based on who we are. And we may not remember it all and it may not come out as the way it's meant to come out or we may not say all of it if we're just going to channel it. So I like to write and I'm glad that it works that way because for me, it's more authentic and true. Uh, as it's coming through for me, right? And so it's already there. When I pick up a pen, it just happens. And so I had that um, initial introduction into channeling through writing when I was younger. Um, and because of the fear base, nobody talked about it and, you know, hushed it or um, where I was when I was younger, believing that there was like an evil one and devil and all that stuff, like I just kind of put it down, right? And so but after my awakening and working with all this and kind of clearing all that out, um, and I started going to college where we were writing papers um, and doing a lot of stuff like that. And it's like, I would just go into these, like this knowledge base. Like I would, when I had to write my papers, like I would just go into this knowledge base and then just start writing. And it's like, where did this come from? Like I would look at the papers after I'm like, I just wrote 30 pages and I don't know any of this information. Where did it come from? Like I was receiving all the information. Um, and so, you know, I, I was just amazed at that. And it was like, it kind of in, intrigued me. Right. And so um, then with that, you know, I took some other courses with intuitive development, mediumship, you know, diving into all these different modalities, energy healing, Reiki, um, channeling, um, you name it, I kind of dove into it, but I could do it all, you know, and why could I do it all? Because I'm a channel, I receive the information, but my, my strength is the writing, the intuitive writing. And so I have a, a video out there on, um, when it came to me to write because I was meant to write and that I was walking on the beach, but you can check out that video too as well. Um, and I'll post that below so you can check that out because that's an interesting experience in itself, um, how I got that I was meant to write and to write. Um, you know, and so that kind of shares that story for you. But, right, when we're in our human self, you know, we are still receiving information. We're still channeling information like I was when I was doing it for school, right? And... Although it wasn't me writing those papers, it was me, it was coming through me, right? But when we're receiving information on a daily basis, just through our emotions, our feelings, our thoughts, we can receive other people's thoughts, right? If people are projecting them, 
and we made it understand that that's the difference between our thoughts and their thoughts. So we are still receiving information, right? It's whether it's ours or theirs. And we may think it's ours because if we don't understand that we are a channel and a receiver of information, we may think it is ours, right? And so that's where it comes into, okay, to know your own boundaries, right? And to understand what is you and what is another person because we have our own little worlds that we live in and we have our own thoughts, our own beliefs. And so I did a video on where I was walking through downtown uh, Safety Harbor in Florida and I kept running into this energy thought form that was put there. This person kept walking by there and they were upset about uh, not having any street light there and then possibly the fear of being hurt and, you know, run over by a car because it was traffic just speeding by there. And so I, every time I would walk through that area, I would pick up on the energy. So there's those who project energy and vibration and thoughts. And when we have thought forms, they're out there and we can walk through them. And so if we're not aware that those are ours or they're not ours, then we can act upon them as they are. And so, for instance, somebody may in your household be depressed angry or whatever and going through all these emotions not really saying or expressing them but if you're near them you can pick up on it right and so you're picking up energy you're picking up on thoughts may or may not be yours um, we're receiving information all the time now when we are receiving information and we're in our human form we're receiving the limited form of it right and so it's going to come through the ego right and we may not even realize that we're receiving the information we think it's coming from us the human form that's the ego, right? And so it's limited, it's sheltered, right? And it's filtered instead of a pure form of channel, right? And so these are the things that we kind of want to understand and learn. And a lot of people say, oh, I'm empathic, but that's just how you're receiving the information. It's not really who you are. And I learned that by the time that I had really accepted and owned that I'm a channel, it was just like this amazing experience because I sat with it and I was like, I'm a channel, right? Because all these modalities had one thing in common and that's receiving information, whether it was through energy healing, vibration, energy sound, um, psychic, what, we were all channeling just different ways and different modalities, right? It's all the same thing. We're all just channels. We're all receiving information from higher consciousness or energy vibration, bringing it in to share, whether it's through art, any of them. So that's the one commonality in it, right? And so if we're not aware of it, you know, it can um, kind of lead you off on a path maybe you don't want to go on because I, I did get into, you know, some situations I didn't want to be in, you know, because I didn't know what was mine and what was when I was a child, right? And so I um, kind of got caught up around people <laughs> who, uh, you know, were probably not supposed to be hanging out with, you know. So, but anyway. Um, but it was just the past and that, you know, there's a whole nother video about stuff like that. But anyway, but we're always receiving information. We just receive it in different ways. And so to term yourself like empathic or psychic or a medium, uh, you're still receiving information. You're still picking up information. Um, so you're channeling. It's a channel. You're receiving information because that's what channelers do. You receive information. It's just different ways that you receive it. Right? But we like to term and promote ourselves as the psychic, the medium, the artist, you know, different things like that, the writer, um, but it's all channeled and all receiving information. Okay. And for me, every time I was like, okay, I'm, I took a modality and I'm like, okay, I'm a psychic. Okay. I took mediumship. Okay. I'm going to be a medium. Okay. I'm taking energy healing. So I'm going to be a healer. And a lot of times it came to an ending, like a, a door closed. I was like, okay, why is this? why am I feeling stuck? Why am I not going anywhere? And so that led to this one, to this one, to this one. And so I learned all those, do those modalities, right? And so it was all the same thing. It was all receiving information, just different ways and working and honing my skills uh, on those different levels of awareness, right? Which was opening them all up. And so, you know, with that, it wasn't until I actually said I was, I'm a channel, that it really resonated with me. And because although I enjoyed and could do it, you know, psychic mediumship, all these other modalities under healing, and it was good, it, I could do it, and I can help people with it. And I had, you know, clients and stuff. It wasn't until I really said, and accepted I was a channel, that my soul literally was 
joyful and confirmed it. And so my, when the minute I sat with that, I was and accepted it, I was like, all these tears just like flooded out of my eyes. I'm like, where is this coming from? It's like my soul was just so happy and relieved that I was like, she got it. You know? <laughs> and so we're all channels, you know, and so that's where I now am, you know, in the acceptance of who I truly am as a receiver of divine information. And so it's not to say that you shouldn't call yourself, you know, a psychic or a medium or a healer, you know, what that does actually is it's, it's how you receive the information. But a lot of people talk about when they are doing those modalities because they put themselves in that place, especially with the healer or channel, right? We are as our identity putting an attachment to that. And so a lot of people are like, well, I feel so drained. I feel so um, tired after and I just need to sleep or, you know, whatever the case may be. And that's basically because we're putting it through our identity, our ego, attaching ourselves to it instead of our true self and allowing it to just flow through us. And so with that being said, if we're putting ourselves <laughs> um, as the ego or our humanness within that attachment to it we're going to feel it on an energetic level it's going to take from us and we're giving to others when instead of being an open channeling allowing it to flow through us right there's a difference in that because if we're able to be just a, a channel right then it's flowing it, it, we're not adding to it and it's just being the pure form which is why i kind of like the channeling for the writings because it just flows through me i can just pick up a pen and i'll just start writing things will just start flowing, thoughts will just, and I'll just start writing, right? And so then that's where you see me writing um, or reading the writings that I, I receive and then talking about it, um, breaking it kind of down a little bit further because it works through my consciousness at that point to help me to explain it and put it into words where we can grasp it and understand it a little bit more on a human level um, of existence because between having the kundalini, the death experience going home <laughs> and learning and working through all these modalities over a period of like 10, 10 years, like straight on, um, you know, it's helped me gained a lot of wisdom and understanding about the path. And so source, my guides, they fill in the bits and pieces to help me bring the picture forward. Because even when I'm explaining, they're here with me. And because as when I'm talking, uh, they're helping put in those words as I'm receiving you, you may see me or I will say when they're here and helping to share that information uh, when I am talking about the channeled writings and the talkings, right? And so I'm putting these all in books, right? Um, because that is where I'm supposed to be, what I'm supposed to be doing. Um, and as far as this point in my journey, now, will I ever be just a channel who will sit here, close my eyes and speak? Maybe, I don't know. But right now I am a writing channel, <laughs> right? And so I, I prefer that because it's also being documented um, in, in text. Um, and I like that idea because um, then anybody can go get the book and read it. If you want, they're going to be on Amazon self-published. So that'll be there for you. I'll be sharing, you know, like my journey uh, through all of it in certain books, but then a lot of the channeled writing, um, some processes, for you, um, how you can get to uh, where you where you are discovering your true self and what you're doing and how your way is in being. Um, and, you know, it's really up to you whether it resonates with you or not. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. And that's okay. And I understand people want to put their suggestions, you know, about why don't you just channel instead of read. Um, so, you know, that's just my way, right? And I understand if that doesn't resonate with you and it doesn't, you know, it's it's just is, you know, and so maybe you would want to go follow somebody who does just channel, you know, uh, versus writing and that's okay with me, <laughs> you know, because I'm not here to make or force anybody to do anything, right? I'm here to share the information that I'm being given to share with people, right? And that's all that is. So if it's there, it's helping you, it's helping you. If it's not, then it's not, you know? And so there are so many channels right now because we are going through the Great Awakening and everybody's coming out, sharing their information. There's so many channels out there 
um, a lot of places. Uh, you can even do classes, you know, online, in person. You can go psychic development. You can go learn for yourself. The point is bringing yourself into your own awareness, not always working or following another person, right? You want to start adapting it yourself because we all have abilities. We all have the ability to channel information for ourselves, heal ourselves, transform ourselves in whatever modality healing that's going to be for you, right? Your path. Like I've done my, my path, right? And it's led me here uh, from where I was because I'm a whole different person than where I was, you know, uh, prior to the awakening. Um, I was living in the human consciousness <laughs> um, and being all programmed and stuff like that, but and in living my limitation of the ego, right? And so having had the integration of the ego helped shed that. That was interesting, you know, as far as shedding the ego um, and integrating that. Um, but it, it's really all about bringing it back to you. Um, and so I'm not trying to be anybody's uh, teacher or, you know, anything like that. I'm here to just share the information. I'm a channel, right? I sieve and I give. Um, and I interpret, right? And so interpretation of that is part of it because when we receive, we're all receiving from a different perspective in a different way. And how we receive is going to um, come through different perspectives and awareness. But basically, it's the message that's going to get out to the person who needs it at the time where they are needing it, right? And so what I say is not going to resonate with you because maybe you're not there yet already. You know what I mean? And so, or maybe you are and you already know. And so you, then you move on to somebody else. Right. And so it really just depends on where you are, whether you're going to resonate with this or not. So it's no good or bad, you know, it just is the way, <laughs> the way it is. Right. And so there was something here that I kind of channeled. And so when I was getting prepared to talk about this, cause this is what came to me to speak about now, like when I said, like, you're going to know when you are on the right path because you're going to feel it from your soul. If you sit with it and you try on different, different things, different personas or different truths or different belief systems, uh, you're going to know, right? For me, like I said, like I went to, because I knew I had abilities, right, as a child um, having those experiences. And so when I had the awakening and first going into the death experience, coming back, you know, I was led to meditation and then I started getting into yoga and then I started, it just kind of folded for me the path. And so then I got guided to go to different metaphysical shops and then I started taking classes and then I worked with crystals um, and then I started doing psychic abilities and then I was like, okay, I'm going to be a psychic. I'm going to read tarot. And so I did the practices. I learned, I took the courses, got certified, um, and then started practicing and doing them. And so through learning them and receiving the information, I was building up my channeling information. But as I was claiming that I was a psychic, it, it, it felt good because I was helping people, but it didn't feel right. It, something was still off. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to move into mediumship mediumship showed up for me. So I tried mediumship and I was like, well, this feels good, but this just isn't it a hundred percent. But then when I got to channeling and I sat with it and accepted it, uh, you're going to know, right? And so that's how you know, it, it feels good. Your soul is going to speak to you. You're just going to have this internal experience where it's like, yes, this is it. Right. And you're going to have maybe like for me, I had those tears just flowing through me. Like when I connect with my soul, I have certain things that come up that confirm. I either get like goosebumps or I get um, emotions come up or the feeling like, yes, this is it. She got it, you know, and <laughs> she's on to this, you know, and it's just these awarenesses that come up within me, not outside of me, right? Because we can see all these different things outside of us. Oh, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do that. And I did do that <laughs> and I was successful at it except for that wasn't it, right? And so when I was doing the energy healing um, and these modalities, they would have a, a closed door after a while, right? And so I would move into something else and then it was going and then it would close door and something would always come up that would close that door for me. It's okay, time to change path, right? And so I was led to something else came into my path. And so I went there and I went there and I went there and I went there doing all these different modalities. And so 
for example, like when I was um, doing energy healing, like, you know, at some point I was, source came into me and my guides, they were like, you know, you really can't heal somebody unless they're ready to heal. And so that really put me into this place, okay, so then I'm really not a healer. I'm a channel of information, but they're not going to receive it if they're not open to receive it, right? And so you can't do anything if they're not willing to. And so it was being shown to me that, you know, people were taking the initiations of Reiki and healing, but they weren't coming for the practice. They weren't coming to do it for themselves. They were coming for somebody to do it for you. And so then I got the download and stuff is like, okay, it's time for you to go more and, and teach them how to do it for themselves, then do it for them because they'll never learn. And so it was more about going to be a teacher, right? And so then I started doing some teachings. Um, and so moving into the master level, <laughs> you know, of teaching the energy and vibration, people weren't coming, you know? And so I was like, okay, well, this isn't working. This isn't the way, this isn't the path, right? And so although I learned a lot on it and I could do it, it just wasn't it. And so coming now into the back circling around to channeling, which when I was told a long time ago, and I started doing when I was younger, just channel writings, um, coming back to that, you know, that's where all my writings are coming from. And that just comes with ease. It just comes, right? It's just, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to prepare. I don't have to get into alignment. I don't have to do anything. It's just when I pick up a pen, it's just there. And that's how you're going to know you know, what is your, your thing, right? You don't have to do anything. It just is. It's just there for you, right? It's you showing up for it and getting yourself there to that point. And it can be a little bit of a path. You know, I went through a lot to get here to where I was being, you know, a long time ago, only I wasn't in the right place for it at the time, right? And so the channeling of the information does come to me through writing. And so that's the way that I share it in, so hopefully you get something out of it and enjoy watching the videos, like, share, and subscribe if you do. If not, um, you know, that's good too. You know, it, it's no, no worries, no biggie. Um, but definitely my books are going to be on Amazon.com and self-publishing um, because I want them to stay the way that they're coming through, right? I don't want to, because when you go through publishers, they want you to change everything. And I kind of tried that avenue, right? And so they want to change everything. And I don't want that. I want it to stay the way it is that it's coming through, right? And so hopefully you enjoy them. If you do get them, read them. They're going to be on there. I'll be announcing when they're on there. There's a couple on there um, already. I'm working more on a few more because the challenges keep coming, the writings. Every time I pick up or start typing, it just flows. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Happy journeys.